Let's talk about website security. Over 30,000 sites are hacked daily. That's insane. Now there are a lot of things that you can do to help protect your website and keep you falling vulnerable to these hackers. Strong passwords, limiting the amount of plugins that you use, and of course, security software. One of our favorites is WordFence. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install and configure WordFence to help protect your WordPress website from hackers and keep your and your client's information safe. Let's dive in. Okay, first we're gonna log into your WordPress website, go into plugins, and we're gonna add new. And WordFence is available from the uh, WordPress plugin site. So we'll just go ahead and install it from here. Once it's installed, we'll go ahead and activate it. Now you do need a license to operate WordFence. Good news is you do not need to pay for it. So go ahead and click on here and we can start with our free license. Of course you get more, more benefits with the paid version, uh, but we'll just go ahead and use the, three, the free version here. So you'll wanna type in a email address that you wanna use for notifications for WordFence. You could either opt in to uh, their email, but you do have to check mark that you uh, read and agree to the uh, terms and conditions here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit no, because I get hundreds of these already. Okay, now what happens is they send you an email that will outline how to install the license. You could either manually copy and paste it, which we're gonna do, uh, or there'll be a button on the email that you could click and it'll have it automatically done for you. Uh, I've run into issues where that doesn't work all the time, so I do just like to copy and paste. It makes it a lot easier for me. So we start by um, putting in our email that we just signed up with, and then we'll paste in our license key here. Um, again, you could join their mailing list. You do have to agree to the T's and C's, and we'll go ahead and install the license. Now we could go to the dashboard and uh, start configuring. You could go through a lot of this navigation stuff. Um, when you're first getting used to this, uh, it doesn't really teach you a whole lot, unfortunately. Uh, you'll learn more in this video here. So uh, let's start by clicking and configuring our firewall. Uh, it does a very good job of automatically detecting what server uh, situation that you're on. Uh, we're on a Lightspeed server here. It'll make you download your HT access file and your user any file if you have one of those before uh, moving forward. And so we just go and download that, hit close and optimize. So it takes a little bit of time for that to happen. You can see that our WAF is at 35% and that's because it's in learning mode. Um, we want to leave it this way for a little while. It's going to start picking up on how you use your website and how users use it and kind of figure out what to whitelist and what not to. Uh, I like to skip straight down to all options and this just gives us the opportunity to walk through every little thing here. So we have our license. Um, we can view any kind of customization. I like to see the blocking uh, up front. Um, it's Often we have our security really tight, so users will get locked out often, so it's a lot easier to unblock them that way. Uh, I like to stick with the recommended um, pieces up here for getting the IPs. I do like to hide my WordPress version um, from the front end. Uh, do not want any code executions in my upload directory. It's pretty rare you would ever need that. And you could just kind of go through and check mark these as you need them. Okay, on our dashboard notifications, uh, we'll just keep both of these checked lets us know if we have any plugins that need to be updated. And then we definitely want to keep this one activated. Uh, if a hacker gets in, the first thing they do is deactivate WordFence and deactivate your 
WAF. So you're going to want an email letting you know that that happened. You'll know something's something's up unless you're turning it off for some reason. Uh, I don't need to be alerted every time an IP address is blocked or when a user is locked out because you will get hundreds of emails every day, especially if you have a very popular website. Um, I like to be alerted when somebody fills out a lost password. Uh, and then if an administrator uh, logs in from another device, um, that's noteworthy. I don't care about non-admin users. Um, they don't really have the power to do a whole lot in there, so I don't need to be alerted when they do. Uh, I do like my summary once a month, so we'll stick to that. And you can see our basic firewall options here. Again, we're still in learning mode. Um, our advanced firewall options. This is where I like to put in our office IP address. Uh, so that way, you know, people can't get locked out for whatever restrictions we set for them. Just makes our jobs a lot easier here. Uh, and then we'll keep all these, all these rules uh, set. I haven't had any issues with those. Brute force protection, uh, always key to keep this on as well. Um, we want to limit the amount of times people can fill out these things. Bots are just constantly doing this over and over again. That's how they get in. So I like to limit them to three, sometimes even one. Uh, it all depends on whose site it is, what the client is, what we're doing with it. And I do want to lock them out for the longest period of time. I'll manually unblock them if, uh, if it's somebody that should be in the site. We'll keep this to just admins only. And I do want my admins to have strong passwords. This is really important. Um, too many people pick such easy, vulnerable passwords. Uh, it's just one of the easiest ways to get hacked. So alphanumeric, 16 characters, always good. Uh, admin is one of the most popular usernames, so we don't want anybody in there uh, using that. And we'll immediately lock them out with our settings that we set earlier. Uh, rate limiting. Now, this is if, like Google, we, we don't want to limit them. They're going to be crawling our site often. We want them to. Uh, so we're not going to limit the Google bot. Um, we can limit other bots uh, that are coming in. So if their request exceeds uh, 960 requests per minute, let's go ahead and throttle it. Um, this will protect your server from getting overloaded. <clears throat> we can ban them completely too if you wanted to. Okay, blocking options. If you wanted to do any kind of geo blocking, that would have to be done with the premium plan. Uh, scan scheduling, I do like to do this. Um, you could do this manually uh, by pushing a button, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, but just set it up to stay with what uh, WordFence recommends. It is pretty important. And I do like to add one more to this checklist that's included in the scans. Um, and that's any files outside of the WordPress installation. Um, some of the latest hacks that I've had to clean up um, usually involve some kind of PHP program that lives outside of the regular files of WordPress. Um, so I do like to get those scanned every once in a while as well, especially for any site that's on one of my servers. OK, 
Okay, and that's pretty much the whole list here. Now we can go ahead and save all of our changes that we've made. And if you're managing multiple sites, this is pretty handy right here. You can actually export all of these settings, uh, store this somewhere safe. And then that way, when you come into a new site, you could just import these options and you don't have to do this every single time. Uh, they'll just automatically set it up for you and that's it, move on. So any kind of notifications will pop up here on your dashboard. You could clear them or pay attention to them. See our firewalls up to 64%, which is great. It's going to pop up a little higher once we're in uh, active mode. Login security. I love getting 2FA in here. And this isn't foolproof, um, but it does help slow down um, hackers and their ability to get into your site. So once you get in here, you have to set up your admin first using OTP, uh, auth, or equivalent authenticator app, scan the code, put your code in here, download your extras. And once you have it active, now you could come in here and make it required for administrators. I like to leave them a 10 day grace period. I like to allow remembering devices for 30 days. Um, again, that makes it easier for us. We could also enable uh, CAPTCHA. You'll need to go get your site key from Google to do any of that. Uh, and that, again, just another thing that helps limit the bots. And then you could just put your allow list, your IP address in here if you have a static IP address. Go ahead and save. And now we've got two-factor and potentially uh, CAPTCHA all set up. So now we've got a pretty secure WordPress website. And lastly, I'll show you here the scan. So if you come in here, you could start a scan at any time. So if for any reason you suspect that your website was hacked, uh, this is a good way to determine that. It'll find any kind of files that have been changed outside of the root directories uh, or root file structures that WordPress has. Uh, it'll let you know, since we selected it, it'll let you know if there's any files that have been added uh, that shouldn't be. Um, but I will say that WordFence is very, very good at blocking most of these things, at least alerting you that you have issues, vulnerabilities and plugins, things like that, um, before you have an issue. But again, if you think you do come in here, scan it, this is pretty, pretty well to, uh, pretty, pretty good way to figure it out if you do or not. So looks like everything checks out. Obviously it should, this is a very fresh install, fresh website. Um, so we don't have any issues, but. That's it. You have a secure website now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more digital marketing content and how to's from the experts at Kodiak. Stick around, check out one of these other videos. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see us explain, demo, walk you through, or give an opinion on, tell us in the comments below and we'll do our best to put together a video to fit your request. And as Dominic Toretto once said, you can have any beer in this house as long as it's a Corona.